I'm out here deep in the woods with my dogs, uh, communing with nature, as they say. I'm actually uh, looking for medicinal and edible mushrooms. But I've come across, wow, a wonderful example, actually the remains of a particular animal. When I say wonderful, that's kind of misleading. It's actually tragic. But here are the remains, the artifacts of this particular animal. Uh, I think... Uh, What's the technical name that uh, anthropologists use? Uh, litter, litter. This uh, field of litter here are the remains of an animal called Homo sapiens. Now, Homo sapiens is a Latin name for uh, the smart animal or the wise animal. But as you can see, uh, that's a misnomer. Uh, the name should... Uh, properly be homo ignoramus but uh, what's really weird about the, <laughs> this particular animal they would take the raw food from nature and then process it with chemicals and additives in an overabundance of salt and sugar and then they'll package it into a uh, colorful containers and sell it to their masses uh, which is uh, what's really weird about that once this particular animal uh, gets their processed food they have a need to come back to nature and when they come back to nature they deposit there are artifacts here. Now, anthropologists can't read the minds of uh, animals, but they come to co the conclusion that this particular animal uh, has a belief system that they think that they're the pinnacle of creation. So, they can disrespect creation and that's a conscious perver it's kind of like a perverted uh, conscious or subconscious uh, desire to come back and spoil nature uh, in an attempt to transcend nature I think uh, the technical word uh, that psychologists use figuratively and literally they, that's right, they shit on nature because they believe that they're superior to nature. That's uh, an example of Homo sapiens slash Homo ignoramus.